Oh my gosh, this looks so cool, you guys. <laughs> so the packages have arrived. This is it, I think. Hi, I'm Yiwa, and today we'll be recreating a scene from To All The Boys, P.S. I Still Love You. Lara Jean's aesthetic is very cute and flirty. She leans into her femininity, and it's obvious through the dresses and the skirts that she wears, where it's very blush pinks, reds, whites. It kind of has a tone of innocence to it, and I find this very common in coming-of-age films. Hi, my name is Juliana, and today I'll be recreating a scene from The Parent Trap. So this scene specifically, they're going to be wearing more casual clothes, like camp wear, and I think that's really cool because I grew up up north in Wisconsin, so that's kind of what we wore all the time. That was how we dressed, we wore sweats, and we wore athletic wear because we were always outside and working on farms and doing things like that. Hi, I'm Mitchell, and I'm recreating a scene from Clueless. Sheer style is iconic. I feel like I get a lot of my schoolgirl fantasy looks from Clueless and from Cher specifically. I wish I saw characters like myself more like in movies growing up. Before I felt like all I had was like Steve Urkel and I resonated with that, unfortunately. In that movie too, you had Dion. I felt like Dion was the one that like a black woman, a black girl like had to look up to. She was like a main character, but she was still secondary. As we are recreating these iconic scenes, we'll be trying to find as similar clothes as possible to the original film. How we're going to be doing that is shopping through either thrifting or shopping online. And then have a photographer come and take our picture on a set so we can recreate the exact scene as close as possible. After that, we're gonna be comparing our photos with the photo from the original scene, and we'll see how good we do. I think I'm gonna nail it. So I think it's gonna be interesting thrifting for these items. I do think I have a blazer that will work for this, so I can check that off the list. But the shirt, I think is gonna be a little tricky. I don't want to have to shop for everything else online. I would love to find things thrifting, but an Argyle skirt? Lara Jean's outfit in this scene is very simple. It's a dress covered in hearts and a red headband. However, I do think it'll be quite hard to find a dress of that pattern in my size. So with this scene that we're recreating, one of the girls has a gray sweatsuit on, which I think is gonna be pretty easy to find because it's very 90s style, which is very in right now. Though the hardest part I'm thinking for this whole concept is going to be finding the sunglasses. 90s sunglasses aren't exactly the easiest thing to find. Oh my gosh, this looks almost identical. It's perfect. Let's see what size it is. The four, I got a four. No, 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 no. In the men's section. Amazing. Like, <laughs> why didn't I think of that? This is it, I think. Since I wasn't able to find anything thrifting, we're gonna do some online shopping. So I found out that the costume designer actually thrifted Lara Jean's dress. So we know I definitely can't find the original which is why we're gonna try to find something similar. This dress looks kind of similar. It's a little different. It's V-neck, there's no collar like the one in the scene. And there's a little bit more of a puff sleeve. After, you know, browsing the internet, it seems like this is the only one that comes in my size and that looks similar. And I think I found something perfect. I found a women's cotton lounge set with pockets with a soft long sleeve. And it comes with the right sleeves I'm looking for and the right collar. The pants are just a little bit different, but I think we can make them work. Let us go on to our next item. The green hoodie is next. I could probably make this one work. I'm going to have to look at all of the colors and the darkest green is probably gonna be the best one. So the last thing that we're going to be searching for is the green headband that goes with the gray sweatsuit. Oh, this one looks right. This one looks like what we could use. So I found the shirt thrifting, so now I just get to online shop for the rest of it. Okay, so I'm looking on Google now to see if I can find the skirt. Uh, it's kind of tricky. None of these quite look like it. Ooh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like I might have found it. I'm gonna do it. Add to cart, boop. Ooh, this is cute. It looks like it's gonna fit. 
It's very romantic and very cute, very flirty. I love the sleeves. First things first, we've got is the gray sweatsuit. It feels a little bit lighter than I was expecting. The pants actually look a lot better. This headband is perfect. Okay. We will make it work. We will make it work. We have to. This The, the print is what it's going to be. It's not that see-through, but the material is just a little bit, kind of just like stretchy and it's longer than I want it to be. I think this look is pretty close to the original and I think I just gotta bring the share attitude. So we have the final reveal of the photos behind this laptop screen. I'm so excited to see what it's gonna look like. Oh my gosh. It's crazy how similar these photos are to the original. Let's take a peek. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. That looks so accurate to the actual scene. That is impressive. Oh my gosh. I'm a Star! <laughs> Living my best Rodale Drive life. The whole experience was such an adventure from the beginning to the end. Overall, this was a great experience. I love recreating looks from movies, from TV shows. I, I really do like putting my own spin on things and I feel like more people should try it out. I am so empowered to see myself as the main character, you know, being a mid-sized Chinese American female, I just want this to empower other people to realize that they too can emulate main character energy anywhere and everywhere they want to.